Why horror of all genres? You could have written in any genre. Why, why did you choose horror? See, I never planned to be scary. I never planned to write horror. I always was funny. I was jovial Bob Stein. Being scary wasn't my idea. Having lunch with an editor, and she said, I need a scary story for teenagers. Go home and write a book called Blind Date. She gave me the title. I didn't know what she was talking about. I ran to the bookstore to find out what teen horror, what it was about, and I wrote this book, Blind Date. It was a number one bestseller. I said, forget the funny stuff, <laughs> right? right? I've been scary ever since. I'm here to give you goosebumps. So why'd you call them goosebumps? I needed a name. I <laughs> needed a name that was funny and scary at the same time. One day I was reading TV Guide, and there in TV Guide was a little ad at the bottom of the page, and it said, it's Goosebumps Week on Channel 11. They were showing scary movies, and I just stared at it. There it was. You have horror in television, you have horror in film, and horror in books. What, what is the extra level that scares people when it comes to reading horror rather than it's watching? It's all in your head. We have, we have no illustrations in Goosebumps. There's a cover, there's no drawing, no pictures, nothing. Because I don't want it to be on the page. I want it, it has to be in the reader's head. It's happening to them. If you were in the heyday of Goosebumps, like you were back, back in the, in the 90s. 90s. Back in the yeah, 90s. Yeah, we love the 90s. How has the process changed? Back in the 90s, I did one every month. Right. I wrote a book a month. I don't know how I did that. Now we do four a year, which is still a lot, right? But, but it's, a, it's kind of a vacation for me. Uh, he's such a crack up. Well, how has technology impacted the writing of Goosebumps? Oh, that's the only thing that has changed. The kids are the same. All the fears are the same. The fears never change. Fear of the dark, fear of going down in a creepy basement, fear of something's lurking in your closet. That never changes. But the technology does change. And cell phones have ruined a million plots. <laughs> I have to, they've ruined a million plots, especially for the teenage stuff. And you know, they're trapped in a haunted house and they're being killed one by one and they can't get out. You pick up the phone, hi, help, we need help, come get us. That's it. In every book, somehow, I have to get rid of the cell phone, or else there's no story. Why do you think people like to be scared? What do you think it is about that? I think that? they like to be scared when they're safe at the same time, and especially with kids. They have these creepy adventures, there's invisible monsters, there's gorillas, there's horrible ghosts, and they know they're safe in their room reading at the same time. I think we all like that feeling.